One thing both straight and LGBTQ plus folks can agree on, dating is a struggle, no matter what method you choose. You could courageously strike up a conversation with a stranger at your neighborhood bar or you could ask a friend to set you up with one of their friends, but if you're like most people, you probably turn to the online dating apps. That's particularly true if you're a member of the LGBTQ plus community, who, according to a Pew Research Center survey, are twice as likely as straight adults to have used the dating site or app. As a result, many mainstream dating apps have taken steps to become more inclusive, and, even better, new LGBTQ plus dating apps are constantly turning up. So, to help you meet your match, we've rounded up some of the best LGBTQ dating apps you can download right now. 1. Grinder. Grinder is often regarded for its contributions to hookup culture since it allows you to instantly meet up with people that can be as close as feet away. But make no mistake, Grinder can be a place for love. The app is particularly good if you're of the see now, by now, persuasion in that it presents LGBTQ plus in closest proximity to where you are, making the opportunity to take the conversation from online to IRL both easier and faster. It also has the biggest name recognition within the space. It's that popularity that makes the user pool particularly wide, and as a result, diverse. The app is particularly targeted toward men, and offers both a free and trial version. 2. Hornet Originally founded in 2011 as a better version of Grindr, according to the company, Hornet has since become the world's largest gay app with 30 million users worldwide, including the US, Brazil, Turkey, and Russia. Hornet also offers a stories section on its website with LGBTQ plus focus content, from tips on how to avoid injuring yourself when shaving down there to list of the best local bathhouses. Really, Hornet is more of a social app than an explicit dating app, one meant to cultivate meaningful connections. This app is free, but like many of the others, offers a premium version. 3. Ha. Ha is focused on the unique behaviors and community interests of queer wumps, Founder and CEO Robin Exter explains, saying that as a by queer slash for queer app, the queer experience was the top consideration from conception. We have 17 sexualities and 18 gender identities. You can assign more than one pronoun to your profile. We've created communities to connect you with other folks with the same identity, from queer wumps of color to trans wumps to the slash them communities. Those gender identities include wumps, non-binary, gender fluid, Pangender, agenda, questioning, gender non-conforming, two-spirit, and more. The app, which is the largest for LGBTQ women, is free, but also offers premium memberships. 4. Hinge Hinge differs itself from the competition through personality revealing prompts in an attempt to allow matches to get to know each other better. It's also the app where Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg met his husband Chaser. The company's ultimate goal to eventually become irrelevant to potential users, based on user surveys and in-person focus groups, we've determined that many LGBTQ plus members have frustrations around dating apps as many are used to facilitate hookups, rather than forge lasting relationships, a spokesperson for the app says. Hinge's goal is to get all members of the app and out on a great date, and eventually, for members to delete the app for good. Until then, you can download the app for free or pay to be a preferred member. 5. OkCupid okay OkCupid okay is the blueprint for inclusivity in online dating. In 2014, OKC okay rolled out 22 gender and 13 orientation choices, years before such changes became a priority for competing sites. As of summer 2020, all users can choose their pronouns. The dedication to social justice is also clear with the introduction of profile badges for voters and Black Lives Matter supporters. OkCupid's okay 2017 redesign was deeper than hiring a clearly millennial graphic designer. The brains behind the overhaul understand that for young, left-leaning singles, a partner's politics are more serious than if we agree, that's great. If we don't, that's fine, too. Users can weed out people they'd hate by answering deal-breakers about things like keeping a gun in the house or schools requiring children to be vaccinated. Connections on the app are strengthened by an algorithm that picks matches based on how similarly both parties answered questions during sign-up. A compatibility score plus details on where you disagreed are helpful padding when it comes to evaluating what differences are make or breaks. Kindly subscribe to this channel if you like this video, drop your comment and put notification button.